Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to use functions in C++. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can pass parameters in function so that uh, in the main program, whatever variables you have, you can pass it to the function. So let's see uh, how we can use it. So for example, I need a function to add two values that whatever the user gives. So for, I will declare a function here as I have shown you in the last video. I will give the return time which is void and then I will give the name of the function. So I want the addition of the numbers. So I will name my function as sum and then these two parentheses and then give these curly braces. And now the way you pass parameters in the function is in these two parents in between this parenthesis. So for passing the parameter, you need to declare or we, you need to give the data type of the uh, variable you want to pass. So you, for example, I need to pass or I want to pass uh, integer for the numbers. So I will give the data type and then I will give the name of the function. So I will say or name of the variable. This is first number. So this is the uh, first variable. And the second variable, once again, I will declare the data type and then second number. Okay. So in this way, you can pass two parameters inside this sum function. The first first variable is first number and second variable is second number and the data type of both the variables are int in our case. This can be anything character or float or double or anything else. Okay. Now since this is a function to make the sum of uh, the two numbers what you need to do is you need to print the sum, right? So you can give C out and then print the message that the sum of the given number numbers is and then what comes is the two numbers itself. So you can just copy this variable here because we are adding these two numbers. So we can write in the parentheses first number plus just copy the second number and close the parentheses and then this insertion operator and then end line. Okay. So what this function will do, it will print the sum of the given numbers are, whatever you give in the main, and then it will add these two numbers, whatever parameter you pass in the function, first number and second number, and it will add these two parameters and print it. Now in order to use this function inside your main function, just you need to call the name of the function. Okay, and then once again the parenthesis, no need to write the return type and then the semicolon and inside these parentheses, I need to give two numbers because this function can take two parameters, one and two, which we have already declared. This can take two parameters, for example, 476 and the second parameter is 587. Okay, and just watch here, I separated these two parameters by a comma, okay? So what this function will do is, when it comes to main, it sees that, okay, I have this function and I have these two numbers. So it will pass these two numbers here and then these two numbers will be passed here and then the program will make the sum of these and print this message. So let's compile our program and run it. And you can see here, the sum of the given numbers is 
one zero six three, which is the sum of these two numbers. Now, in order to make this program a little bit more interesting, what you can do is you can declare two variables int a and b. So both variable type is integer, and you can write c out. Please enter two numbers and then end line, and then you can input these two numbers. So CIN insertion operator A for first number and CIN insertion operator B for second number. Okay, and what you can do is you can pass A as a first parameter and B as a second parameter. Here is B. Okay, so what this will do is now when you run the program, it will ask for the first number and second number, and whatever number you pass or whatever number user will give in the program, it will just pass these two numbers here and then it will be executed. Let's build the program and run it. Now it's saying please enter two numbers. So I will enter two number. First number is 7474 and the second number is 8348 for example. And when I press enter, you see there that this uh, the sum of the given number is 1582 which is the 822 which is the sum of these two numbers. So this is how you can really utilize this function. User will enter the values and it will be passed to the to the function and it will be passed here and it will go here both two numbers and it will be added and this message will be shown. And in the last video also I have shown you that you can use this function at multiple locations. So uh, for example, you need to add some more numbers. You can just copy this code once again and paste it below and you can change these variable x and y for example and in here also you can change it x and y and here also x and y. Okay, so it will be executed in the same manner as above. So your function will be executed two times, right? Let's uh, build our program and then let's see what happens now. Run the program, enter two numbers, some numbers I will give for the first time, and once again it, it asks for giving me two numbers. Once again I will give two numbers and it will execute the same functions, function once again. So whenever you need to add two numbers, you can use this function again and again and you can pass any two variables inside this function which has to be int or which has to be of data type int. So that's the beauty of function. Whatever you need, whatever code you need to execute again and again, you make it a function and use it again and again. That will um, save your time and they, that will save your space in the code. I hope you have understood the concept and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.